Students collect data or identify relevant data sets, use digital tools to analyze them, and represent data in various ways to facilitate problem solving and decision making. You are seeing students going through the process of data collection. We, we started this process by doing some research on Parkinson's and it came across in the research that men, almost two to one, um, have early onset Parkinson. They're more prevalent than women. It sparked some ideas in them that they thought, well, is estrogen acting as a preventative? And so, though we can't actually induce Parkinson's, but we can use a neurotoxin to try to simulate those Parkinsonian symptoms in zebrafish, which were our neurological model. So these were the ranges that our fish were in, and none of them had trap symptoms. Designing that experiment, being able to evaluate, you know, have I controlled all my variables? We need to be able to have results that are reproducible. I mean, that's a huge part of this process because you get into it, you think you've designed an appropriate protocol, and there are flaws. We've had some really rich conversations and um, data talks because, believe me, I would leave someday with some of their questions and I'm scratching my head and I'm like, well, we have to go figure it out together.